She literally has no hair. No, I want to get it. You don't want to see the doctor? Which makes me super nervous just because that's when she starts pulling is at night. Cause we got all the time in the world For better or worse We should stay together So let's stay young and in love We should focus on us Forever Yeah baby if you and happy Tuesday. So today I'm taking Stella to the doctor and she's all caught up on her shots and everything, but she has been pulling out her hair. I know we've mentioned this in a couple past vlogs, so if you're a regular, you know what I'm talking about, but it's gotten really bad in the last week where she's pulled out even more. I'm gonna show you, but she hardly has any on this left side of her ear. We just don't know what to do. We've tried everything we can think of, so Marcos is like, you know what? Take her in, see if we can get any other answers. So we're gonna do that right now, but first I'm gonna get her ready and show you kind of like her before and after hair and why I haven't cut it yet. You ready to go to the doctor? Come on, let's go get dressed. Yeah, let's go to the doctor. Yes. You ready? <laughs> she seems excited. Are you excited? Yes. Do you like the doctor? Yeah, All right guys, so if you're a regular on our vlog, you'll know that we filmed our nighttime routine recently and we showed you how we wrap her hands with this. This whole side, Stella, turn off the fishies. We're not going at night. This whole side is like 10 times worse. All of a sudden she started pulling again. Like she literally has, like I mean this is how long her hair should be. She literally has no hair. And then there's this side. She doesn't really pull this side, so it's like normal. So anyway guys, the debate right now is do I cut it? I know this looks like a mullet, but I can still pull it all up in a ponytail, which I'll do for the doctor appointment. Or like it looks funny like this, so I never leave it like this, obviously. Or do I just cut it kind of like right here so that, I mean this still won't blend, I just don't know. Anyway, gotta get ready. You want some lotion? Yes. Ooh. Got it? Okay, scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh yeah, put it on your legs. Okay. Boom, she's all ready. You ready to go? <laughs> yes, Okay. She just loves to go anywhere. She doesn't even care where it is. Don't fall, okay? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Should we go brush your teeth? No, you want a teeth. See, it's kind of cute just right here, but I just wonder if I cut it, if she'll just pull more and more and more, so it's like, leave what she has, I don't know. Got your toothbrush? Yes. Okay, good job. Get your toothbrush wet. Good job. Good job. Hey, let's do your hair, okay? Can we do your hair? No. Can we make it pretty? Please? Please? Can we make your hair pretty? No, we want it. Well, I want to, I want to make it pretty, otherwise it looks kind of funny. There you go, make it pretty. Are you ready to make it pretty? Yes. Okay. See, it looks so pretty. See, so when I pull it up in just like a high pony, it's actually cute. This is the only hairstyle I can do. I had to like wet it right there. You can see all the bald spots, but at least it looks like a normal hair versus down. I just don't know. So she's just <laughs> taking her morning drink from the squirt bottle, huh? It's just full of water. That's how I spray oh, your hair down. Okay, you wanna go play when mom gets ready? No, I go. You wanna go? Yes. Okay, just a minute. See, and I put a little bow in, and it's so cute, huh? Can you jump? Yeah, jump. Woo! Can you go? 
Yep, almost. Just letting her be on the tablet while I finish getting ready. But comment below, guys. Do you think I leave it long so I can do this and at least pull it up? There's her bald spots. I just had to do hairspray and a little bit of spray gel. And it looks super cute. Or do you cut it and always have this side looking bare and it could get worse? Comment below. I want to know. Right, Stella? Yes. Let me see you. You just look so pretty. I always tell her she looks so pretty, so she'll just keep her hair like that. Hopefully she'll keep it, but I'm gonna take it out for the doctor to see anyway. Are you ready? Yes. You got your shoes on? Yes. Okay, let's go. You yeah. ready? Yeah, boxes for our move. You guys haven't checked out that vlog, go check it out. Okay, get up there, let's get buckled. A drink. Oh yeah, your drink, you wanna grab it? Yes. All right, her hair is still intact. I'm kind of shocked because she usually pulls it out within like 20 minutes if I'm lucky. Huh, you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Go see the doctor? No, I want to get it. You don't want to see the doctor? I need water. Oh, you need water? Yeah, water. Okay, I'll get you some water. You coming? Come on. Yeah, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Does that feel weird? <laughs> Whoa. You okay? No. It's okay. Come on. Let's go. On the camera. You find it, Sally? Yeah, we gotta find it, huh? Oh no, guys, it's that one. He wants your snappy shoe. Coloring on the phone. Hopefully we get some answers. All right guys, so I'm not gonna be able to record the visit, but we will let you know how it goes, huh? Huh, Stella? Say yes. Now we just notice it all the time. Like she doesn't even realize she's doing it, I don't what? think. Um, like she'll be eating dinner and all of a sudden this, it's just her left side and it's just this hand will go up. All right guys, I'm feeling a lot more optimistic. Really glad that we came to this doctor. She's gonna order some blood work right now for Stella to see if it's anything medical and roll that out first and then we'll work with behavioral. So I took out all of her hair that was so cute so that she could see it. Ready to go? This way, come this way. Ready. Yeah, come on, let's go. Let's go. Was that fun? Yeah, fun. You like the doctor? She's so nice, huh? All right, guys, so we just got done. Um, that was good. I'm really glad that I took her in. I've kind of been back and forth debating um, just because, oh, don't touch your hair. That's an ouchie. Don't touch it. That's an ouchie, okay? okay? Leave it pretty. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Thank uh -huh. you. Perfect example. Anyway, she had some really good suggestions. First, like I said, they did some blood work. They pricked her finger and her hemoglobin, I think is what it was, was normal. So she's like, that's, a oh, don't touch your hair. Keep it pretty. Don't touch it. Okay, ouchie, don't touch it. 
gosh it's just like never ending with her i'm glad i can kind of see her in the camera anyway she's ordering some labs to do some blood work she gave me some other suggestions of things i could do um we're gonna order a silk bonnet on amazon she told me to get a bunch of taggies um to try to figure out a different way to soothe she told me to always have her hair up so i guess that answers that question i'm not gonna cut her hair she said even if she pulls it out in two seconds pull it up and she's like you can cut it but it's gonna be a lot harder to pull up the more up it is I want her to get in the habit of having it up so that she doesn't pull it and she just knows she has to have her hair up she also said to stop wrapping her hands not that it was bad she's like it's been fine but she's like I don't see that working long term like I said she's I don't know if I told you guys but she's starting to pull them off with her mouth like this and she'll wrap like go like that and get her wraps off so she, literally last week when we posted our nighttime routine she didn't even mind the wraps and it's been totally fine now all of a sudden she can't stand them so we're gonna stop wrapping her hands which makes me super nervous just because that's when she starts pulling is at night but I'm just gonna try to stay on it watch her through the monitor and if she pulls out her hair go in and put it on try the silk bonnet all the things that she said I feel a lot better that she didn't just blow it off because I actually took Stella in twice in the past year and it's been almost exactly one year since she has been started pulling out her hair. I remember because we went to a pumpkin patch and me and Marco saw her pulling out the front. So it started out here, then it went here, then it went here. She never does this side, it's always this side. Anyway, so I'm gonna get home to the kids. They have been in school holding down the fort. Um, I'm gonna order some things off Amazon, put her down for a nap, I guess without her wraps on and hope that she doesn't pull out her hair. So, um, like I said, got some labs to go do for her just to rule out anything medical, and then we're just gonna work with behavioral, and we come back in four weeks to get an update and hopefully have some good progress going, so. You ready? Yes. Okay, don't pull your hair, okay? That's an ouchie, okay? Okay? Okay. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but this um, pediatrician I went to, I went to a couple years ago when I had Livy and was going regularly. And then when I had Stella, she moved clear across town. So about, it's about a 40 minute drive for us, which I was like, ugh, when I had kids in school and activities, I just didn't want to drive clear across town to see her. And then I've been going to a different pediatrician just since Stella's older now and I don't have to go as often and he blew it off twice so I'm not impressed with that so glad I made the choice to drive a little bit farther prioritize this and get some answers so I'm feeling good about it all right guys we are back home and I have been looking on Amazon for the stuff that the doctor the doctor told me to get so I'll show you what I got all right so I got these little mini baby hair ties they're ouchless they're a lot softer instead of plastic and then her big thing was to get these taggy blankets so I got these two blankets with tags on them I got a mini mouse blanket thing because she's obsessed with mini and the doctor said get a little like stuffed animal that's attached to a blanket and you could even sew on like tags to that and then we've got the little hair bonnet. So anyway, none of them get here till Friday or Saturday on Amazon, but I am hoping that they work. So we'll give it a shot. Anyway, Stella's already pulled out her hair three times since we've been home and four times in the car. So I'm just supposed to watch her and make sure that she doesn't keep pulling it out. And if she does, to constantly pull it up. But I need to get those ouchless hair ties so that it doesn't pull her hair when she's pulling it out. So. Anyway, got them on the way. They are coming and wish us luck. Are you playing with your bubbles? Mm -hmm. Don't mind her crazy hair, but it's just up. So she gets in the habit of it being up. Go! Time for a nap. She's already pulled out her hair, but I can't watch her 24 7. Two times, huh? Ready to go take a nap? No. We can't play right now. We gotta go nap. Baby. Get baby. Say, come on, baby. Let's go night night. night night. Okay, here we go. Good night night. Oh, are you putting her in there? Oh, okay. Good night. All right, good night. Are you getting the other baby? Yes. Baby. Oh, okay. Okay, where's that baby going? Oh, in there. Okay, all the babies are sleeping. Shh. Oh, give them their bottle. Okay, thank you. Okay, now time for Stella to go night night. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Woo! 
<laughs> All right, so because I don't have any of the Amazon stuff quite yet, I am still gonna wrap her hands. But I'm just gonna do that until the Amazon stuff comes and then we're gonna stop wrapping her hands like the doctor said. So I'm gonna get her ready to go and put her down for a nap. All right, I got her hair back up. Do you wanna turn on the fishies? No. Turn on the fishies so they can go night night. She likes to turn on the rain or the fishies. Which one do you want? See, she's got all these bald spots all over. Oh, you gonna do fishies? I like it. Too loud. It's too loud? Yes. Okay, turn it down. You ready? Okay, go like this. All right, push that down. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Don't pull your hair, okay? Okay. Keep your wraps on so she gets her little mouth and starts rubbing them to get them off. Which one do you want? Fish. Fish? Good night. <laughs> See, she'll do this with her mouth and somehow get them off. She just rubs with her mouth where these little pieces are that connect and she'll start rubbing it up and somehow get it off her hand. Anyway, a couple more days of this and then we'll try something else. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, here's your blanket. The doc told me to get <laughs> doc told me to get taggies, but I'm just gonna try to use mini. Okay, here's mini. Rub mini, okay? That's what I'm supposed to say, I guess. Okay, night night. Good night. Good night. See? Look at this, you guys. She gets her. She's trying to get him off. Like, she's trying everything she can to get them off. Stella, lay down. Don't touch your wraps. And then she'll lay down. It's just so weird, because if you haven't checked out our nighttime routine vlog, go check it out. We'll link it right here at the top. We just, like, we're talking about how we put her to bed and how she doesn't mind the wraps, and we're so grateful. And literally this last week, she's been, like, trying to get them off, so. Anyway, you guys, we will keep you posted. Um, I will take you along with us for... Um, our follow-up appointment, which will be in four weeks um, to see if Stella's had some progress. And we'll let you know how the little tips and tricks are going. And once we get her blood work back, we will keep you posted. So hopefully you like this vlog, taking you along with us to Stella's doctor appointment. Hopefully she stops pulling out her hair. Comment below any of you moms out there if you've ever had this, where any of your kids at a young age was pulling out their hair and what you did. Or if anyone has any tips and tricks, we're open to any and all suggestions. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up for Stella, and we'll see you guys next time.